You can think about particle accelerators like a racetrack for particles. Race cars don't start out going 200 miles per hour. They must gradually accelerate over time on either a large circular racetrack or a long straight road. In physics, these two types of tracks are circular accelerators or linear accelerators. Particles in circular accelerators gradually gain energy as they race through an accelerating structure at a certain position in the ring. For instance, the protons in the Large Hadron Collider make 11,000 laps every second for 20 minutes before they reach their collision energy. During their journey, magnets guide the particles around the bends in the accelerator and keep them on course. But just like a car on a curvy mountain road, the particle's energy is limited by the curves in the accelerators. So if the turns are too tight or the magnets are too weak, the particles will eventually fly off their course. Linear accelerators don't have this problem but they face an equally challenging aspect. Particles in linear accelerators only have the length of the track where they pass through accelerating structures to reach their desired energy. So once they reach the end, that's it. So if we want to look deeper into matter and further back towards the start of the universe, we have to go higher in energy, which means we need more powerful tools. One option is to build larger accelerators. Linear accelerators hundreds of miles long or giant circular accelerators with long mellow turns. We can also invest in our technology. We can develop accelerating structure techniques to rapidly and effectively accelerate particles in linear accelerators over a short distance. We can also design and build incredibly strong magnets stronger than anything that exists today, that can bend ultra-high energy particles around the turns in circular accelerators. Realistically, the future tools we use to look into the infinitely small will involve a combination of technological advancement and large-scale engineering to bring us closer to understanding the unknown.